In the 60s, it was the mini skirt that shouted female liberation and empowerment. But recent fashion trends are seeing a convincing move away from the revealing clothes and towards longer hemlines, higher necklines and a hidden silhouette. Modern fashion is tipped by Thomas Reuters to become a $450 billion industry by 2019. That is phenomenal. Let's start out with actually what is a modest fashion industry, Mary Ellen? Yeah, well, very interesting. I'm actually surprised that this has taken off so quickly. Basically, it's a rejection of the current trend, which is to show as much leg as possible and to reveal as much skin as possible, you know, these unrealistic standards that we have for women. And it aims to cover up as much skin, well, not as much skin as possible, but to cover up your skin without compromising on fashion. So that's the aim of it. And it can be for many reasons. It can be for, it's really taken off in Indonesia, which has a high Muslim population mm -hmm. and other, other religious um, denominations have also got on board with it. But it can also just be because women think it's empowering to wear more clothing. And so you can adopt it for that reason as well. See, women used to think it was empowering to wear less clothing. <laughs> Interesting, something right? Too. Well, some women so, did. Well, <laughs> yeah, again, just depends on how you see it, I suppose. I guess so. Yeah. I guess empowerment is in having that choice to be mm. able to decide, but not just that. To say that within um, within modesty, you can find something that's really sleek and fashionable. And probably in a lot of Muslim countries, maybe they've already felt this way. They probably have already felt like they have this corner on fashion. Mm. When I've lived in the Middle East, the, the women there are very fashionable. Yeah, well, they said in Indonesia, the women spend up to 80% of their income on, like, on clothing or their disposable income on clothing, yeah. which was yeah. pretty, huge. pretty huge. And I think that's why it's taken off uh, in Perth, especially Perth, Australia, Western Australia. Um, the fashion industry over there is really like taking advantage of this modesty thing because they're a close exporter to Indonesia. So they can, if they can, like, I think it's make up 0.00001% of the industry. They're still making millions of dollars. Mm, yeah. So it's, wow. it's great. <laughs> but don't you think it's a good thing? That we st that that it's out there that we can start dressing a little bit more modestly. Well, we always could, couldn't we? Well, I don't know. It might not have been well, fashionable, I mean, but we. Could. I remember <laughs> a, a couple of months, a couple of years ago, there was a thing about you know little girls' clothing and Target, how it was yes. getting shorter and higher and less sleeves and everything else, and there was a big up um, outcry about that. And I just think even women's clothing sometimes is not very modest mm. for some of us. Yeah, when I was a kid, I remember having to go to secondhand shops to get shorts that were long enough like, to yes. cover up the <laughs> and, and you look at some of the girls today with their short, short shorts that sort of don't cover very much and I think, well, you know, mm. I've, I have boys and so I'm always very conscious about what girls wear yeah. and that you, boys... Yeah. I just Do you think it feels nicer, though, to sort of cover your body a bit more and not necessarily feel the lofty judgments from others? Yes. Well, oh, I, yeah. I will say that what I enjoy doing is being able to go outside and wear a scarf over my head because I don't have to do my hair. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. I'm hearing exactly. your sister. Exactly. So if that's going to come in trend in fashion, I do it anyway, but I think women will feel more empowered because they see more people doing it, so yeah. they feel mm. like it's more acceptable mm. and they don't have to just meet the standards that they see in a magazine. Mm. So I think also being a Christian, it's really awesome to see that this is a trend because there's more options as you were saying mm, yeah. and like the bible says not to adorn your outward body with you know jewels and not to worry about what you wear and that god looks at the heart not on the outward yes. appearance and so yeah. the, the fact that this is becoming more of a trend is empowering because mm. it allows me to kind of live out my faith a little bit more yeah, yeah. Uh, modesty so. is a matter of the heart really isn't it? i actually like what victoria beckham said um, about the looser silhouette she said it puts power back into the hands of the wearer rather than the observer do you agree mm, yes well i think i really love what shona said because i think um growing up as a kid i never thought of it from that perspective you're saying as a mom of boys you see it from the perspective of your boys like just ogling or maybe <laughs> feeling like they and can they can't they help. Have to. They can't help it if it's stuck yeah. out in front of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's there to be looked at. Well, so yeah. I've, I've time will tell if this is a phase or if this is just another sort of you know money making exercise. We'll see.